is it's Monterey Car Week is underway, folks. Let's go. Porsche Classic Monterey featuring my favorite cars of the entire show. Best PTS color here. And green GTS. Oh my god, this singer sounds amazing. Saw this beautiful ruby red paint a sample GT3 RS. And here I am having a drink. Cheers, folks. After the Porsche Classic, I went and checked out downtown Monterey and Carmel by the Sea. See my car in downtown Monterey and me previewing RM auctions. Back down at downtown Monterey, where I started my day at the Porsche Zentrum, now open to the public. This is at downtown Monterey, at a new location, very intimate, much smaller than the former Quail Lodge location, and there was quite a sight to see. Porsche really surprised us on test drives. Uh, you could book a base model car online, but when you actually get there, you could drive off in a 4S GTS 4.0. Or... I had the behind the scenes tour of some of the cars that were hidden, like the Cashmere Beige Cayenne GTS earlier on. After my appointment with Porsche, I headed into Pebble Beach where I could check out the Ford Showcase. After Ford, I went and checked out the Mercedes-Benz Showcase. Who would have thunk that you could test drive vehicles there on the spot? I went and test drove the G63 AMG and the new body style S580. In the Mercedes-Benz Showcase, you could check out vehicles like the G63, the new all-electric EQS, and they even had a Maybach pavilion there where you can sit in the Maybach GLS 600 and the Maybach S580 sedan. Find me lounging in the GLS 600 Maybach SUV and the Mercedes-Benz Maybach S580 sedan. Wish I can snooze here for a bit, because Monterey Car Week is that tiring, lol. After Mercedes, I ran into Donald Osborne, famous for being on the Jay Leno show, walking over to Lexus, and then having a drink since I missed my test drive. Just got here to Works Reunion. There's my car, Boxster 981, next to 982 Spider, then 981, then 982, then back to 981. This is dope. Oh, what? Gunterworks? Wow, first time at Quail. Look at all these amazing automobiles. Lamborghini Countach Anniversary. Gorgeous Diablos. That is a Momo Edition Diablo. I think 25 or 26 were made. Wow, Quail Lodge and the Quail Motorsports Gathering. I can't tell you how much I drank and how much I ate to make up for the admission fee. That day was incredible. Christian Konisig, Chip Foose, Magnus Walker among special guests. 
All You Can Eat or Drinks, James Hatfield Special Collection, Jonathan Siegel's Alfa Romeo. I sat in a Rolls Royce Cullinan, which was really cool. Saw some friends I haven't seen in forever. Saw Ed Lowe from Motor Trend. They were doing oysters on the half shell. Ah, totally amazing day. Would totally do it again. But oh my god, absolutely stunning day, perfect weather, awesome people, there's a Ferrari F40 and Pagani, there's a 935 over there and the classic Jag XJ220 from Need for Speed. Of course they're doing a Pagani Hawaira and Pagani display over here. This is just the first part of it, folks. Hey, it's wonderful to see a Ferrari that's not red. So cool to be up yeah, close to these. It's amazing. 935. Well, thank you so much. We hope to see you next year. After Quail, I was invited to a small gathering in Carmel by the Sea where I ended up getting stuck before attending the Porsche party. I went and rode with my friend who Ubered us and had a drink. Later that night, I also met Justin Bell, son of racing legend Derek Bell, and Ubered back to their home to pick up my car. Alright, I'm gonna meet one of my clients today, Gooding & Co. Shout out to another client that I'm working with for getting me in here. A lot of vintage cars. Love the Land Cruiser. Absolutely stunning. After the Gooding and Company auction, I went and headed out to check out the Ferrari SP Monza rally. Tons of Ferraris there. Collectible, rare, vintage, multi-million dollar Ferraris. Probably equaling billions of dollars worth of Ferraris. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but there was definitely a sight to see. Testarossa, F50, among others. I also saw the Porsche 917s and other Ferraris that were hidden behind the Mercedes exhibit. Nuts! Holy moly! Oh my god, there's the 917K! Damn! Two 917Ks! Holy moly! Yeah, 
and billions of dollars worth of Ferraris. Freaking nuts. Ooh. Yes. Oh my God, this is awesome. After Pebble Beach, I was invited to another small gathering in Carmel Valley by a friend and clients. Their home was gorgeous. Epic drive up and down the hill, half an hour both ways. They converted their horse stable into a car stable and had a lot of cool landscape upgrades and Tuscan-like exterior design. There is no more famous car than Porsche 917K. Here it is. $15 million bid. $15,250,000. Does anyone want to do it? At third and final call. At $15,250,000. $15,250,000. Oh, yeah. Get all kinds of time. At 15, it says no. $15 million. $15 million to 50. Close right there. $15 million. $157,500. $160,000. $157,500. $160,000. Close right there. Finished Friday night at the RM Sotheby's auction. A lot of epic cars from my childhood, like the Jaguar XJR15, the Bugatti EB110, reminiscent from those days I used to play the Need for Speed on PlayStation. I also met Barry McGuire, McGuire's Wax, and even saw a R33 Skyline that transacted for over 200000 After that, met up a client from San Diego, had some burgers, and saw his beautiful M5 on the street. Okay. 
last day of Monterey Car Week, and it was beyond epic. I met Porsche Pikes Peak Hill Climber Jeff Zwart, Ralph Gills from Stellantis and SRT Head of Design, Kazanori Yamauchi, Polyphonies Digital CEO and Gran Turismo producer, William Harlan, the owner of Harlan Estates and the founder of Meadowwood, $1,600 bottle of wines, saw those cool Wells Fargo buggy cars, Jonathan Siegel from San Diego showing off his Maserati, Ed Welburn and Ralph Giles walking the concourse lawn, Porsche Special Projects, Grant Larson, and the CEO of Rolex handing out the special watch to the winners of the concourse. Homage to the Countach. Porsche history all in one place. Chefs for amazing Porsche <laughs> connoisseur. Seventeen K. Turn our 
our attention to our chairman, Sandra Button. Sandra, may I have the envelope? The 2021 Pebble Beach Concord de la Gaz Best of Show winner is the 1938 Mercedes-Benz Parkour Day of the Year of Artillery and Deborah Collins from Petaluma, California.